There's a bee right there. Trying to get in. Come on, get out. Get out, get out, get out. Uh. Hello everyone, Lonzo here from RVT. So today I came, this is my first time coming back from uh, the winter and it seems like my bees are getting robbed. I uh, Earlier this week, I think it was last week and I actually I did open the, the hive and uh, just took the cover from the one on the inside and I threw a couple of uh, sugar, uh, sugar bricks in there that I made and uh, today you know I just got off from work early so I decided to come over here and maybe install a new uh, uh, frame in there and I uh, that's actually from my uh, 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 Lanes, not Langstroth uh, deep frame so I just cut it and then the rest of it I put on the on the bottom to see how they do that see how they work that out but I just got here and noticed that there's a bunch of bees out front. It might be getting robbed. I did open the entrance a little bit more. Um, but now there's like a bunch of bees flying around. So what I'm going to do is maybe close the entrance a little bit more. And then uh, and they go from there. Uh, if they do come down because uh, uh, right now i mean it just looks like the first, the other t the other day when i was here the first time they got robbed they were getting robbed um but now they're back at it again trying to get uh other bees trying to rob my hive I, I thought i was the only one around here having bees and maybe these are wild bees but some of those bees are coming back with pollen and stuff i did notice that uh, there was a there was a bunch of pollen coming back, um, so you can see on there, and uh, but right now they're just pretty bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the entrance real quick, and then uh, and they go from there. I don't see a lot of uh, fighting going on, so I'm not sure what's going on in there. I do see a, a bunch of pollen down on the ground. It looks like they've been dropping a bunch of pollen. But I don't understand if they're really robbing the hive or... Or what? But I don't see a lot of fighting. But usually, you know, I don't see a lot of bees just flying right in, by the entrance. You know, this is just, I haven't seen that before. So this is new to me. But I'm going to go ahead and just close the entrance some more. Closed it like it was back then. This is weird. I've never seen that before. I'm afraid to open it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. See, I still have the pillow here.
If they start coming over here, that means that they are getting robbed, in my opinion. Because, you know, they must smell the, the hive open over here. So they're trying to find another way to get in. It's just, I'm afraid if I open it now, they might, you know, smell the inside of the hive from this side and then I guess that's a good way to find out whether they're getting robbed or not. I just see more bees flying in front of it than flying out. So I don't know if, they, if maybe they're getting crowded in there or... So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and then Screw it, you know, just open it up. Let's see what's going on in there. So there's a sugar that I put in there. I don't know if you can see it. The sugar brick that I that I made. Um there were there was a bunch of larvae in there. And uh I think they were building some more comb on this side. As you can see, you know, they just... I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and open it. Slide this right here over. Slide it over like that. I know my camera, sorry about that. My camera is like all over the place right now, but I'm trying to kind of like hurry up and undo this so I can go ahead and close it up. There, close. Now I'm gonna grab this frame. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in there. I mean, it looks like pretty crowded in there. See, this is where they were getting together on this side. I'm going to go ahead and slide this in there. Smoke them up a little bit so they can go down. <laughs> slide this one real quick so I don't squeeze them now smoke this side and then slide the whole thing yeah, just like that alright there it is I just installed a new frame in there hopefully they'll fill it up and uh, I'm gonna know that this is a new frame here because of this nail that I put on there I actually stretched the uh, wire a little bit more there's a bee right there trying to get in come on get out get out get out get out Get out so I can close this up. No, out. Alright, um, 
This weekend I'm gonna come back and remove that pillow. That way they can. Uh, I, I don't think I need it anymore. This weekend it's supposed to go up to like 80. Huh? That's weird. Now all the bees that were around here. And not that many anymore. I don't understand what's going on. I, I put a new a new frame in there. Maybe they're overcrowded. If you know what's going on with my bees, can you, you know just can you please comment down on the on the bottom because I have no idea what's going on here. I mean, now there's like only like maybe six, seven, eight bees flying around. Earlier there was like, like 50. Did they needed more space or? Cause I noticed that they, there was a bunch of brood in there when I opened it last week. And now there, I mean, there's still a bunch of bees in there, but you know, I didn't inspect it that good right now. So I don't know. Uh, if you want to see more um, next, actually next, if you want to see this sneak peek before uh, YouTube, uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Uh, I usually post videos there, not videos, but photos on there of what's going on before YouTube. Uh, next week, I'm planning on. Um, actually, let me make sure you like and subscribe here. Uh, next week, I'm planning on uh, doing the traps. Um, I'm gonna put probably just a couple of traps around here. Uh, this is how I got this uh, this uh, swarm right here last last year. I got a swarm and uh, and you know I was so happy about it. They survived the uh, winter. They're all doing great. Um, so this spring, which starts maybe next month or something like that. <clears throat> right now it's a nice day, you know, it's just a really nice day. I decided to come out here and go ahead and put another um, Give them more space in there and um, And then this uh, This weekend I'm gonna go ahead and install the traps and I'm gonna install the same trap that I got this swarm over On that tree over there on the other side of this brush or this tree and um, Hopefully I get lucky again and uh, there's more to come I'm getting two uh, packages, so it's gonna be interesting, you know, how I'm gonna be installing those packages here on the on this kind of hive. So I still had to build those hives because you know I'm a, I probably just built two of them, two extra ones for now, and then of course I'm gonna need more frames for that, and uh, and start from there, and then later on, you know, if the if, if this worm. Uh, that's pretty good, you know, throughout the spring. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, maybe next year, or if they do, it depends how they do, you know. If they do pretty good, I'm going to go ahead and do a split and then get another uh, high from there. And then uh, we go from there and keep growing. Um, I want to at least have 10, the minimum, 10 hives. Uh, that way I can, in Texas, you know, actually in this area. Uh, I need 10 hives to be able to uh, get approved for farm extension. Kind of like having cows and stuff like that. But instead you have bees. So, um, in my opinion, it's a lot easier. If I go out of town, I can go out of town for a week or two. I've never gone for two weeks, but uh, I'm, I'm gone at least four days or so, the, the minimum. But if I ever go out of town, I don't have to, be, I don't have to worry about you know, oh man, I gotta go feed the animals. The only thing I had to feed is that right there and take care of it before I go. But anyways, uh, this is gonna be it for this video. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. And, uh, and you know, if you really subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Um, but uh, thank you for watching.